Good afternoon. The December 25th or 22nd, 2015 meeting of the Oklahoma City Water Utilities Trust will be in order. And the first matter on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from the December 8th meeting. Move approval. Second. Motion and a second to approve the December 8th meeting. Are there questions or comments on the minutes? Hearing none, voting please. Minutes are approved. Next item. Move the consent docket subject to individual consideration. Second. I have a motion and a second on the consent docket. Are there matters to be heard separately? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would, I would note that we are advertising for bids, repairs, made, repairs needed on the 96-inch sewer line near the North Canadian River that was, uh, where the support was eroded by spring storms. And we're advertising those and then awarding uh, repairs to the Toka Pipeline, also damaged in the same storm. Any other comments on the consent docket? Hearing none, voting please. Consent docket's approved. Next item is the concurrence docket, one item. Move approval subject to individual consideration. Second. Motion is second to approve the uh, concurrence docket item, which is a awarding of a contract to wind construction for completion of the work done at Draper. And this again is a grant funded project or pr primarily grant funded project to make uh, electrical, electrical improvements to the Draper plant and make it more reliable for customers. Okay. Any other comments? Hearing none, voting please. Con concurrent dockets approved. Next item is item for individual consideration. There are none. Next item is item from trustees. Comments from trustees. Hearing none, the general manager's report on fiscal year 2016 monthly pro forma and status reports through November 30th. Yes, sir. If, if I may, is it acceptable to you if I visit about all three of the reports in your package quickly? The, um, the first one, the monthly pro forma, we're essentially on track for income. Uh, water is down by a half a percent. Uh, water expenditures are, are well below target because the Atoka pipeline isn't running. Wastewater, wastewater operating expenses are uh, a little are 2.6 below target. Wastewater income is precisely on target, as I as I understand the report. Um, your second item, bill, the bill presentment update. Things are. Things are progressing with customers' use of paperless billing and payment options. Um, we, made a, we made a good deal of progress when we implemented the phone application for bill pay. Um, so we're up uh, a total of about 10 percent, we're at a total of about 10 percent uh, combined, down almost 11 percent um, in customers who are paying online in a paperless fashion. Um, staff will be through uh, the months of January and February uh, issuing reminders and information in, both in the form of press releases and uh, inserts into bills and other tools uh, about uh, the paperless billing process. You'll recall it's a much less expensive process for us and, and very reliable for customers. Um, you also have a, with you your uh, report C is a common report about uh, things going on in the utilities. Basically, water and wastewater production are both down, and we attribute some of that to uh, a damp weather, but also uh, to water conservation. We'll bring you a report about that, another update on that data in about three months uh, as we end the winter billing season for, for wastewater. Um, our Total number of uh, water connections is down a little bit, but not uh, not out of range. Uh, lake levels are excellent at Hefner, and uh, not uh, Lake Hefner's down about three tenths of a foot. Lake Draper, as you know, is down about ten feet, uh, with the repair to the pipeline coming to resolve that issue. Um, other lakes are, are in good shape, like Canton, down just about three feet as of today. Um, the Southeast Lakes, of course, very full because we haven't been pumping from there in quite a while. Expecting more rain and are prepared for that. Can I answer questions? That was pretty fast, but. 
Historically, has uh, uh, the declines like we're experiencing now at, uh, on the general fund budget of the city, uh, declines based on economic downturns, uh, how, to what extent has that bled over into the trust finances? Um, not tremendously. Uh, it's certainly a closing of a major facility that uses a lot of water as a significant, for example, um, we, we were anticipating losses associated with the GM site, uh, and, and we saw a slight decline in revenues, uh, given that they used about, in my recollection, is 400,000 gallons a day. It was a, a lot of water. Well, that used gradually declined as they were pre pre preparing for close. Um, otherwise, we see we see people be more a little more cautious with water use if they the, um, if, if the news is uncomfortable, um, and that may be contributing to a little bit of the conservation, but it, it's not typically material for us. It's more about people stopping coming here, um, moving away. Ex-migration, I think, is a bigger issue for us, and not seeing that yet either. Okay. Any other questions or comments or citizens to be heard? Hearing none, we're adjourned. Thank you.